Hello, my crafty lovelies. It's Pamela. So, you know, I have done a couple videos on 6x6 six six paper pads and using scraps, and I've just gone a little bit bonkers with all these ideas, so I thought I would share them with you and show you how I make these from my scraps. Little teacups. How cute are these? Nick be a little journaling card or a tuck spot and I just made them with my scraps made a little cupcake aren't they adorable I just think they're so cute I don't know maybe I'm crazy but I like them I think they're adorable so I'm gonna make one and show you how easy they are I did make a little template just kind of a teacup just the shape and I sort of follow it, but I sort of don't. It just depends on the paper that I'm using. And I just grabbed a couple of scraps from my paper scrap pile. And I'm just gonna cut this shape. And we'll go from there. And I usually end up cutting it down a little bit, just kind of angling things a little more, but I just angle in a little bit and cut down so that there's like where the cup rim is so kind of like that again it doesn't have to be perfect I am NOT a perfectionist by any means I never will be so cute okay now, I want to make the tea saucer. So I want to use this cute paper. Let me think one second first. I need to make the handle. So I want to, I have found that doubling the paper helps a lot. It makes it more sturdy. So we're going to double this up and let it dry while I cut the, um, the saucer out. And you could use chipboard or whatever, but I'm just going to use this paper because I like it. And it matches the saucer. Of course, it doesn't have to match. Okay, so we want, you know, a little bit of the teacup on the saucer so I just kind of hold it like this and then I just sort of shape it um, around it and then it's usually flatter on the bottom because it's sitting on a table right so kind of like that and let me and then it is higher on the top than kind of just like that. Yep, pretty good. Let me just fix this little spot right here that's uh, too pointy for me. Now, for the handle, I just, I will, I usually just cut it, but I will show you how you can do it. So, you want it a, almost as high as the cup, not all the way down. I just make a backwards C like that and then I come in and all the handles can be different it doesn't matter right so we'll cut it and then we can shape it more if we want but doubling the cardstock helps significantly okay and I can erase some of that pencil if I need to Let me get my eraser 
closer. Just a little bit right there. Come on. And right there. Awesome. Okay. How cute is that? That is adorable. Let me see if I like the other side better. Mm, I think I do like that other side. Let me see. Yep, I like this side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue the, the cup to the saucer. Actually, I want to make this just a little smaller. It's my prerogative, right? I want the base of the cup to be just a little bit smaller. So I am going to do just that. I'm going to glue it right here. So cute. Okay, now let's put the handle on. Let's see, was it that side I liked? Yes, because it has more flowers. So I am just going to cut these just a teeny bit. And I'll put a little glue here. the handle on like that now I want the other rim the other side so what do we want to do do I want to use the same paper do I have enough to make a little lip there or do I want a different color paper I think I want a different color paper so let me grab something really fast if I can we want this blue. Let's try that blue. So, and of course you can make a template for all of these and then just cut a bunch of them out. But I just line it up with the edge of the cup to the edge of the cup. And just cut a piece like that. And I can cut the extras off. So, let's do about right there. And I'm just going to come in underneath and I'm just going to kind of curve it around to the other side like that. Oh, that's cute. So let's glue that down. Maybe I'll use this one as a tuck spot. Oh, do we want a tea bag? I think we want to put a tea bag in here. I think that would be cute. So I have these tags that I dyed a long time ago. Still have a few left and I'm just gonna cut it down because I want it smaller, more in proportion. I'm just gonna round the corners a little bit. Yep, just like that. Okay, then I'm going to put it here. So when I glue the other piece down, it is stuck. And then we're just going to put some glue right here. I think it's a little bit too high, so I'm just going to come in with my scissors and just trim it down just a little bit. How cute is that? I think I'm going to... Which side do I want? Let's glue this just a little bit. I 
right like that. And then let's get a little, they're still where I left them from the last time, and put tea on here. So cute. Tea. I think I'm going to make some that are hot cocoa for winter. Okay. So what else do we want on here? Do we want to put some flowers? I could cut, I could fussy cut some flowers. I think, let me get some of my fussy cuts. Okay, I am back. I found a couple of little cutouts from a floral book and I think I'm just going to glue them right on to the teacup. Just like that. And then, let's see. Cute as that, guys. How adorable. How fun is this? I hope you guys try this. I've only made four. I'm sure I'll make more. But you could use your stickers, your flowers, your, all your scraps. Just go to town and have fun. I glittered my little teacups up. A little bit and put some ink around the edges just to give them a little more interest but they were fine the way they were but I do love them now and then I want to show you what I did because it is so so cute <laughs> I made some hot cocoa mugs with little marshmallows aren't they adorable I think they are so cute Anyway, they are super, super easy, just like the teacups. Just make yourself a little template or just wing it. Use up your scraps. I put plain paper on the back of these. That makes it a little nicer if the paper is too busy. And I just put a little journal word on the back so that people know you can journal on the back of these. So I hope you give them a try. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Remember, be kind to each other. Give somebody a big smile, say hello, and be blessed, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.